Can you smell that fish? No? Come a little closer. You don't want to miss learning how to cook up this dish. And today on Delmarva Life, we're showing you how to make this pan seared mahi mahi with cucumber and mint couscous topped with Mediterranean relish. Most of the time, fish is heart healthy, but sometimes, no matter what you do, heart disease can rear its ugly head. We show you a program here on Delmarva whose goal it is to give you the truth and the whole truth when it comes to heart surgery for those who've experienced it firsthand. Well, if you want to get your hands a little dirty in the garden this weekend, we've got some ideas for you. We're going to show you some thrillers, spillers, and fillers that are good for the sun or the shade. Well, you may be seeking some shade as the temperatures continue to rise <laughs> here on Delmarva, but for those of you who are looking for something a little more refreshing, a pool may be just the leap for you. We show you the best ways to open your pool this year and how to maintain it in ways that won't have you wasting your time or money. Well, does it seem like the more you do around the house, the less room you have to store your tools? Angie Hicks from Angie's List tells us how to create a space for less which materials you should consider and where you should spend some extra to make certain it lasts. All right, guys, here it is, your first clue in today's search for a striker. This town has trees. Oh, what, that doesn't help you out? Well, coming up, I have your three real clues to help you find out where I am. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryan. I'm Jimmy Hoppel. Welcome to Delmarva Live from Historic Studio D. I was thinking about you last night Were when you? I heard that thunder. Uh, I know how much you love those storms. I love the thunderstorm. I used to love the thunderstorms. Really? That was before I got my two thunder guards that be sure to sit on my head in the middle of the night to let me know that it's thundering. <laughs> really? I love my dogs. They were just waking you up so that you would know that there was a thunderstorm around. Oh, they did, and I did. <laughs> Good grief. Want to say congratulations this afternoon to the Midshore Community Foundation and their scholarship recipients. Yep, foundation handed out some money. Uh, the Austin and Martha Steele scholarship recipients are Aubrey Biddle, going from left to right here, Aubrey Biddle, Gabe Guzman, Sawyer Cornelius, Jessica Stershik, and Alexandra Satchel. Now, there were more than 100 guests who joined the foundation in honoring 34 scholars. Now, the Midshore Community Foundation awarded nearly $300,000 wow. in scholarships to students from five Midshore counties that it serves. So, I know. Every penny counts when you're going yes, to college. You're going to want. Um, I want to talk about something very special and say congratulations to another group of people. There is a premiere here on Delmarva mm -hmm. this weekend. It's a movie premiere. You may remember Bruce Grove came on the show in July of 2013 to talk about a movie called Kumite USA. Oh, yeah. The local film group actually began writing the film five years prior to when they came on the show, but right. unfortunately, three days before they were to begin shooting the film, the main character, Keith Mercier, died unexpectedly. The movie was swept under the rug for a while, but eventually Keith's family and friends continued it with Keith's brother Billy, seen right here, <laughs> taking over the main role. Now this movie is described as a genuine comedic drama with a story that promises a little bit of every emotion one person can handle, and it's going to be premiered at the Avalon Theater in Easton. Doors open at 2 p.m. This is Sunday, the 31st. Showtime is three, tickets are $10. If you want some more information and a better description of the movie, because it sounds like it's it's really funny, yeah. um, go to our website, wboc.com. They kind of parody the, you remember those old uh, oh, yeah. movies, those Ooh. old martial arts movies, yeah. Yeah. something like they that. They were great to talk to. They were, they were. It's I'm be excited a for great, them. Great film. Okay, it, just in case you've been part of the entire search, the hunt that's begun, been going on in Shinkatig. Uh, sorry, sad news this afternoon. The most famous Shinkatig pony since Misty was found dead Aww. last week, according to the Islands Fire Company. Take a look here, there on the far right, you see Surfer Dude. Uh, Surfer Dude is with Virginia Bell, who is on the far left, and their Colt Riptide in the center. That's important because the Saltwater Cowboys say Riptide has now taken over the mares and the bloodline. Surfer Dude was 23. 23. So, sad news, but it happens. Uh, we have some sad news, but we have some good news coming from Assateeg Island. Say hello to N6BMT-FN. <laughs> this little filly's arrival brings the Maryland herd total to 93 animals. Now, officials at Assateeg National Seashore say this wee one was born in the back country sometime at the beginning of May to JoJo. They say the little one's sire is likely Llama Boy, as JoJo was part of his band from April 2014 until May of 2015. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little scandalous. JoJo and her baby are now in General Harker's band. 
I know, right? Real housewives of acetate. They are typically found <laughs> south of South Beach in the over sand vehicle area. Do they do that a lot? Should we start a reality show? <laughs> I think we should. Oh my goodness. It'd probably be good. <laughs> okay. It's time for audience participation time on Del Marble Life. So um, repeat after me, repeat okay. after me. You ready? Arr. Arr. Oh, you got a good um, one. I know. Uh, the, <laughs> the Bowers Beach Maritime Museum is hosting the third annual Buccaneer Bash this weekend. If you are 21 or over, there is a Friday bub, uh, bub crawl, pub crawl <laughs> featuring <laughs> beer from multiple breweries as well as wine. Fire in the hole! Fire. Oh, yeah. Nautical tunes are going to be provided all weekend by musical acts, the Brigands, Pirates for Sale, Sea Dogs, and Miss Jackie, authentic pirate reenactors, will invade Bowers Beach on Saturday and Sunday. There will also be traditional festival food, sword fights, more than 30 vendors, boat rides, and more. Third annual Buccaneer Bash pub crawl, 8 to 6 on Friday. The rest of the event, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 5 at the Bowers Beach Maritime Museum. If you'd like more information, 302-335-1556. You know how much it costs? How much? Oh, no. A Buccaneer. I knew it was no, coming. No, I'm just kidding. It's free. It's free. Come on. Arr. Arr. You might find some bugs if you're doing the pub crawl. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of ships, the Calamar Nickel is back at the Cape May Lewis Ferry Terminal. <laughs> the Calmar Nickel is a faithful recreation of the original ship that brought the earliest settlers from Sweden to Delaware. And you can work alongside the volunteer crews as they haul the lines, raise the sails, and learn firsthand just how hard it was to cross the Atlantic in the 17th century. If you want some more information, contact the Calmar Nickel Foundation office. That number is 302-429-7447. That would be fun. It would be fun. That would be fun. This is something else that's fun on water that I was going to be a part of until something else came up. The Paddle Fest on the Chop Tank. It was the sixth annual for the fun, sun filled weekend put on by the Caroline County Chamber of Commerce. Uh, they were only expecting about 250, but they had a record 300 people come out with wow. kayaks, canoes, and paddles. Dustin Holt, the star Democrat, apparently he had a lot of fun, did a great job with the pictures. Uh, the course was a 7.7 .7 mile paddle down the chop tank from Greensboro, ended at the Chop Tank River Yacht Club in Denton. There was a free family festival featuring live music by bluegrass band Flatland Drive. We've had them yes, before. Yes, we have. And the Lockerman Middle School Jazz Band. So next year, going to play Yeah, you one. love spending a lot of time on the water. Yes. Yes, you do. And love people it. living in Ocean City have an opportunity to collect water from the sky, or as we refer to it here, rain. <laughs> the town is offering a limited number of rain barrels to residents of the resort to be used on property within Ocean City corporate limits. Now, a rain barrel is basically a water tank positioned at a downspout to collect water and use uh, water to plant, to right. water your plants, yeah, your gardens, yeah. want and want. There is a small fee of $20 to purchase the barrel, which is subsidized by the Critical Area Mitigation Fund. So if you're interested in obtaining a rain barrel or would like more information, call 410-289-8825. Always a good idea. Mm -hmm. So, um, You've talked a lot about zubilation. Oh, I am. I am zubilant you, about she zubilation. She is zubilant <laughs> about zubilation, and it's Saturday. Among the new arrivals to see the zoo's Indian bear cub. Tickets are only sixty bucks at the door. The uh, have they named this one? They haven't. Named. Yes. They ha uh, I can't think of the name. Oh my goodness! The Zoological Society is a nonprofit organization that raises money for improvement projects at the zoo, and uh, one of only a few zoos that offer free admission and free parking. I'm sorry, they've named the Red Wolf. They renamed the Red Wolf. That's right, but they haven't the named bear. the cub yet. Yeah. So yeah. Well, the crime yet has to be solved. The good news is that what was stolen is back home again. Look at this real close. See down there towards the bottom, just above our, our little manor there? That's Foghorn. That's the Rhode Island red chicken outside this Royal Farms in Parksley. About two and a half weeks ago, when the manager went out to take Foghorn, his regular tasty cake at 6.30, he realized he wasn't there, and he knew there was foul uh -oh. play afoot. Oh. Sorry. Foul okay, play. the good news is Foghorn is back this afternoon. No demands, no witnesses, no suspects, but after the reward was offered, that was when Foghorn returned. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Now, while we're talking about birds, yes. have you ever wondered what it would be like if birds could tell jokes? Cheer up, Trev. I'm all right, Bernie. Here, gag for you. This fella and a giraffe walk into a bar. Giraffe goes to sleep on the floor. Barman says, Oi, what's that lion there? Fella says, It's not a lion, it's a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> ah, giraffe! <laughs> you crap me up, Trent. You know what's funny? As I am usually sitting beside you with my back to you at my desk when you're listening to this stuff, and I have to turn around and go, what is he doing? <laughs> that? If you're finding yourself outside in the wilderness of your garden this time of year, you're in luck. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, gardening expert Jenny Rosenkranz tells us what to plant now, the perfect plants for sun and shade, and how you can get your garden going this spring. Something else you probably want to get going right now is your pool. Whether it's an in-ground or above ground, it's important to open it safely. So a little later on, we're going to hear how to properly fill it, test it, and have it ready just in time for the big holiday weekend. Well, something else you'll probably be doing this holiday weekend is enjoying delicious food with family and friends. We're also in the Del Marva Life Kitchen making a Mediterranean Mahi Mahi with a cucumber mint couscous. Oh, yeah. Well, a healthy diet and exercise is very important for a healthy heart. From diagnosis to recovery, a group of volunteers has a very important role in the healing process at a local hospital. You're going to find out how for 20 years. Mended Hearts Delmarva has provided hope for a healthy and productive future for many struck with heart issues. Delmarva Live, we'll be right back. Delmarva Live is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 